F-35 fifth generation fighter jets will be the main force of America and its allies. In the next few decades, it is almost certain that the flanker generation will overshadow and possibly fight in the event of a conflict. With more than 600 Su-27 flanker and then evolved into Su-30, Su-34 and Su-35 super flanker, this aircraft has flown with air forces around the world. So this can be a picture of the fate of the F-35 later. Wherever Lichting 2 will meet with these enemies that cannot be underestimated. So far the United States has indeed been fortunate to have never fought a country that has balanced air power. In the Middle East, America faces countries with very weak and totally helpless celestial powers such as Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya. But of course luck can run out. If one day America must head to head against the Russian Air Force, China, or India then it will not be as easy as it has been. According to the new air battle philosophy defined by US Air Force Lockheed Martin is that one aircraft can be for all things. And that is manifested in the F-35. Until this aircraft will replace all other fighter jets of all kinds. From air fighter jets to ground attack support aircraft. But here's the problem. Because the F-35 is an expensive aircraft, the Air Force will only buy a few aircraft. Japan, for example, currently has 100 F-15S but will replace them with only 70 F-35S. Again, because the F-35 will also be expensive to fly and maintain, the Air Force will limit the hours a pilot can fly. Apart from that, stealth comes at a price. At F-35 most maintenance is in the stealth layer. This is a ludicrous obstacle to battle. In theory, the impossibility of fleet availability in 100% conditions. The average US Air Force fleet availability is only around 75%, and it is already in good condition, but when the F-35S come later, the numbers will definitely drop sharply. The B-2A bomber has an availability level of only 46.7%. And the most expensive fighter jet in America, the F-22 has a fleet availability rate of only 69%. So if you say, the Australian Air Force, if you only buy 48 F-35S, how should you fight China, which has 400 flanker-derived fighter jets? Obviously in terms of numbers it is certainly a problem. Although of course you can bet Australia will not do battle with China without the support of its allies, USA.